and a guilty verdict in the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in U.S. history. The man accused of killing 11 people and injuring seven others in a Pittsburgh synagogue was convicted of all 63 counts he faced. ABC's Morgan Norwood tells us what's next. After just five hours of deliberations, a jury finding Robert Bowers guilty of carrying out the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in U.S. history. During the trial, prosecutors told the jury Bowers carefully planned out the 2018 massacre that killed 11 worshipers at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, showing evidence of the 50-year-old's deep-seated hatred towards Jews and immigrants that he often posted about on social media. He made numerous statements online about hating folks of the Jewish faith, hating the idea they were bringing immigrants into the country. Though Bowers pleaded not guilty to 63 counts, his defense team acknowledged he was the gunman, however questioned whether his motive for the attack was out of hatred, as the indictment and prosecutors alleged. For the past three weeks, jurors heard emotional testimony from survivors and the family members of victims, along with first responders who detailed the moments the attack unfolded. We approached the front of the synagogue and began firing at us and sent a style of gunfire. According to the FBI, Bowers hurled hate-drenched words as he fired on unsuspecting congregants with an AR-15 rifle. 11 people, including three women and eight men, killed as medics rushed to pull away the wounded and officers climbed to the third floor where Bowers had tried to escape. Now, the focus on the sentencing phase in which Bowers could face the death penalty. State is going to be looking to show that these acts occurred because they were in this religious environment, practicing and worshiping their faith. And that is an aggravating factor that is going to allow them to seek the death penalty against him. The defense is going to be trying to show that that is not the case and try to avoid death penalty. And the penalty phase in this case is set to begin in about a week. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.